Hello friends, it's uh, Monday time. Few days we traveling around the world and make the urban sketchy. Today we'll back to the portraits and I have a surprise for you. Normally when I'm painting the portraits, what I'm doing, I'm starting from the lights and after that make the shadows. That's the way what I'm used all the time. Today we have a surprise. We will do it opposite way. We starting from the shadows. So we'll broke the one of the main golden rule about the watercolor from lights to shadow. Today from shadows to light. I have a brilliant piece of the Saunders Waterford paper, 300 grams rough. One of my favorite and I'm already make the sketch to save your time. So we're gonna paint directly. Let's go! For the skin color in the shade, I'm gonna use mix between my three favorite guys. You already know that mix. Pure Violet, Queen Crayon Sienna and Indigo. And before I start to paint, I just spray my paper. Just a little bit. Perfect. Well, let's go. That's why I like the Sanders Waterford paper because that's drying slowly and I have a lot of time to play with my pigments. Definitely this is a, one of the best paper. I'm gonna make with uh, these two brushes five and seven lines
like you already know, one of the main tools to explain the light is the shadows. That means the negative space.
well it's done simple and fast and that's the my secret tool if I don't have a lot of time to play with the two layers then I can put the lights first and care about this and make the shadows and the ends I'm starting from the darkness part that saved me a lot of time thank you for watching and see you next Monday by the way what you want to do on the next Monday feel free to send me some advice thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video give us a like and subscribe to my channel bye